nothing like merging lanes. What's up, fam? Uh, just wanted to do a vlog here about the choice of the rims and tires that I went with for the new shoes video. And one of the things I wanted to talk about was that choosing a set of rims and tires is not as easy as you'd think. Most people probably think, oh, well, if it looks cool, let's get it. But there are a lot of factors involved, and I wanted to explain how I arrived at the rims I got and the tires I went with and all that craziness that ensues from there. My personal Mustang is a daily driver, so I drive about 50 miles per day round trip to and from work. Not to mention different places I go after work with Mustang meet, meets and and all this daily driving um, for just errands and whatnot. So I put a lot of miles in my car. So I, that comes to consideration for which wheels I chose because which tires I chose too. Let's just clear the air that 20s look pretty cool on this body style, especially the so much so that even the stock Mustangs some of them come with 20 inch diameter wheels but for me what was important also was to maintain my miles per gallon but also maintain the fact that a 20 inch wheel is a larger rotating mass which adds weight which could make my performance suffer which also could make my um my times, my 060s, my quarter mile, my MPGs all just kind of suffer a bit. So at that point, I decided that I wasn't going to do 20s. I'm going to go with a set of 19s. Especially because, especially with these stripes, what I've tried to do is I've tried to almost be a baby GT350 clone in a way without being a GT350 because that car is just beautiful. But anyhow, I went with the 19s because the 19, there's 19 by 10s on the GT50 and 19 by 11s on the back of the GT50. What I decided to do with mine was to do a staggered setup. Most people are like a staggered look or they like a squared look. So what is squared? Squared means your same tires on the front and rear size so you can rotate the tires. I went for the staggered look just because I like just the way it, it sits a little bit higher in the back and a little bit lower in the front. Nothing too crazy. So I got 19 by 8 fives in the front and 19 by 10s in the rear as far as the rim size is concerned. The tires I went with were 245, 45, 19s in the front and 275, 40, 19s in the rear. Now... I actually had these rims for a while and I got a phenomenal sale at AmericanMuscle.com during the St. Patty's Day sale and I got four rims and tire, uh, four rims, sorry, for, for $300, which was basically unheard of and my biggest problem at that time was figuring out what size to get, so I did go with the 19 staggered setup. Then at that point, it was about getting tires. Now, there are just as many tires out there as there are rim selections, so that's another difficult situation where you find yourself is what tires do I want what quality what brand what's my purpose again it was quite a challenge a lot of people crap on the Pirellis for the performance pack Mustangs I beg to differ because this is and when I say crap on I mean this is what I've read in forums and on different um, Facebook groups I went with Pirelli P0 Nero's all seasons because of the fact that I am a daily driver and it's important for me to uh, be able to year round the car, not just uh, for performance reasons, but also because it snows, it rains and whatnot. So I went with that. And if I go to the drag strip, I'm going to get drag radials for the 18s that I, that I left off or just get a whole new setup in the back anyways. So I, I was looking and looking, and most of them were pretty expensive. They were averaging about 200 plus per tire. I found another sale at TireRack.com, which I had to jump on, which were $88 for each tire 
there was like five left and somehow I just grabbed two brand new ones which was great I needed two more in the for the rear I was getting antsy so I got two used tires in the back that were off Amazon that have 730 seconds tread life left which it's a risk to buy used tires but in the end I'm happy with what they came and I plan on upgrading them anyways but I just wanted to have new rims and tires especially for the summer months next I had to get them installed so your question is everyone knows that these cars have tire pressure monitoring systems and I didn't want to get a new set because they average between 100 20 to like three 250 bucks on different sites. I didn't want to drop that money So I called around at just tires and they said well It'd be fifty dollars per tire and we didn't even get to the to transferring of the TPS systems And they were like well, we don't install you tires and they kind of banged on me So they were kind of douches so I didn't appreciate that too much Then I called pet boys Talked to a really cool dude. He told me listen. We may scratch your rim and I'll be honest with you, you should go to a specialty tire place, which was right here in Williams called, called Tire Tech Inc. So I went to Tire Tech, I called Tire Tech Inc. And just awesome customer service. That's big for me. Like, I really am big customer service. If you're, I'm a, I'm a client and you're, you know, going to provide me with a product or a service. If I don't get customer service, I'll just go elsewhere. So very much pleased with the customer service I got at Tire Tech Inc great guy great guys over there they did the install quickly they let me ask a bunch of stupid questions which they're probably annoyed by but it was nice to have the ability to do so which I did which you could see in the new shoes video and all in all they charged me $30 per tire and I put everything on with with them they transferred the tire pressure monitoring system from my old tires to these new ones. No signs, no beeps, no nothing, and they put regular valve stones in my old tires. So if anything happens, like I get a flat or something else happens with the rim, I always have a set that I, that's there. And I can even, if I want to, put a, a spare tire in the back, which I'm not because that's, that's a lot of weight. Unless I go on like a crazy road trip, I just need to have a spare just to be safe. But of course, you can call Ford Service. That's a whole other story and video. But the main thing I wanted to tell you guys was just explain to you the process, what the size of the rims are, what the size of the tires are, why I chose what I did, and then all in all, I'm pretty pleased with the deal I got. So for the t for the rims alone, I spent 300 bucks. Again, I got I got a St. Patty's Day sale. Look for Memorial Day weekend sales on like uh, LMR uh, LateModelRestoration.com or or CJ Pony Parts or American Muscle. I'll put links in the description. They usually have some crazy sales. And then be patient with your tire searching, and then find a good uh, place to install it. So all in all, 300 for the rims. About let's see, 88, 160, 300 for the rims, 160, 300 for the tires altogether. At 600 and install is so about 750 all together for for the uh, the rims and tire setup, which I think is not bad at all. I, I think that's a phenomenal deal because you know our rims can go phenomenally high and expensive. So if you're a patient, you find the right setup, you can get a good deal. So I wanted to give you guys a breakdown of how we got to where we got to and why we got to with what rims I chose, how they came about, and I hope this helps you on your journey because in my opinion the most dramatic the dramatic and substantial upgrade you can make to any to any car let alone a mustang is the rooms and tires all right all right fam peace